You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, we're talking about exercise today, and it's a new and different type of rebounder. It's an improved rebounder, and it's uh, becoming somewhat of a movement, whether it's uh, very famous actors, motivational speakers, people seem to be bouncing before a big meeting before a conference, before public speaking. Uh, well, with us, we have one of the pioneers in this industry. His name is David Hall. David, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy, it's a pleasure to be here. So for people that don't know about seller size, you call it seller size, what is seller size? Well, seller size is a different methodology of exercise. With typical exercise, we find ourselves working on the body as different muscle groups or body parts or lifting weight away from gravity. What cellular size does is it doesn't treat the body as a part. It treats the body collectively as a whole. Okay. It's not weight lifting, it's weight bearing. So the increase of weight is not limited to certain muscles, it's on the entire muscular skeletal system over 100 times a minute. That's my whole routine is 10 minutes a day. So and 10 right, minutes a day. 10 minutes a day of every single muscle, every single cell flexing with weight on it over 100 times a minute. And it's done through the forces of acceleration, deceleration, and gravity. In 1911, Albert Einstein said, the human right. body cannot tell the difference between the forces of acceleration, deceleration, and gravity. To the body, it's all weight. Well, most exercise is just basically opposing gravity or applying weight or stress to a certain part or function of the body. Okay. What cellular size does is it literally creates a pumping action with G-forces that are applied to every single muscle, every single cell. What we do is we alter the angle of our body in different positions okay. to leverage the weight. So if I want to work underneath the chin or if I want to work on my stomach, I tilt backwards a little bit and the body tenses up. Now in that position, I can jog or I can leverage even more weight by lifting my feet up in front of me. That's a lot more intense than a typical sit-up because okay. you're not just lifting your weight away from gravity, you're also increasing virtually the weight of gravity. If we want to work on the, the waist and the hips, we kick out side to side. If we want to work on the lower back and the buttocks, we kick out behind us. If we want to work on the smooth muscles, like okay. the digestion and elimination processes, we spread our feet apart a little bit, lift our heels up and down and do a gentle twist. Now, I'm not here to make any medical claims. All right, yeah. What I am here to do is let people know that for 30 years. Yeah, you've been on the road talking about this for 30 years. We have got enough empirical evidence through observation and through written testimonials of people that it warrants a lot more investigation. Digestion elimination processes. When we move up and down and do a gentle twist, we have numerous customers who have claimed that they've, including me, okay. <laughs> that have claimed they've improved their digestion elimination. We have people with back issues. Back problems are a big problem today. I teach a technique on okay. the cellar sizer that I did for me, that other people are doing, and that I'm teaching to doctors and chiropractors that is offering relief for a great many people. And so we have- So this is for the beginner oh. or for the advanced athlete. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Let's talk about the rebounder itself. Okay, I call it bouncing, right? So when you yeah. bounce up and down, you say this is a natural position for humans to be in, or it's comforting for us, or something like that. Well, let's talk about bouncing. Let's start there. Let's do it. Um, because anywhere in the world, you will see naturally, when a baby first stands up in the crib, they have a tendency to bounce up and down. Now, none of us are born with balance. Balance has little or nothing to do with age. It's a physiological function. It has to be challenged in order to get it. Balance, rhythm, timing, dexterity. So babies bounce. And, uh, you bet. They hold on to the crib and they're bouncing up and down. It's okay, natural. Yeah, that's a good point. When they get out of the crib, they graduate. All right. What do you mean? <laughs> they jump on the couch or the bed. What do we do? Okay, we stop, generally, stop yeah, bouncing. We generally kick them off. I tell people if we knew better, not only would we encourage the children to do it, we'd be up there doing it with them. But that movement up and down challenges. It's calming. It's, well, it's calming. It, we've had people that have had stress issues and depression issues. And when they move up and down on the cellular side, they tell me how good they feel. I talked to you on the phone. You know, I was the biggest skeptic. I thought, oh, it's a rebounder, bouncing. We all went through that phase. Of, of having one of these things, I think, at one point in our life. Right. And you explained to me it's a different kind of a rebounder. I'm talking about this patented spring situation you have. But so we, at the end of my phone call with you on our pre-production meeting, yeah. I bought one from you. You didn't give me one. I, I bought yep, one yes, from you. you did. I said, you did. I got to have one. And then a month later, I'm going, I got to have one for home. So not only in the studio, so we're bouncing here at the studio. I bounced before I came on. Uh, so, so this works. There's a NASA study. Yes, NASA, NASA Ames Research Center, Center out of um, Moffett Field, California. 
did a study with astronauts. When they're in outer space, they can lose up to 15% of their bone and muscle mass in just two weeks because they're weightless. Well, when they come back and when they're up there for two to three months, they're helped out with a stretcher because the body atrophies in weightlessness. All exercise is trying to virtually reverse that by increasing weight or stress so the body gets stronger. Okay. Well, NASA didn't have time to put weight on all these different body parts and muscle groups. That would take too long. And what if they missed a part? They didn't have time. They couldn't afford that. So they needed to find a weight-bearing exercise that wasn't limited to certain muscle groups or body parts. Their research led to the development of the entire mini trampoline industry. The cellar size uh, is unique in that when I entered the industry, virtually every mini trampoline on the market used a little tube spring. It didn't represent Yeah, that. they're kind of spongy. Well, they're, right? they actually have a jarring effect or okay. an abrupt stop at the bottom of the stretch. 1995, Dr. Morton Walker warned doctors to avoid those. He said the abrupt jarring effect was the same as landing on the floor. I agree. My dad attempted to do my exercises on a typical rebounder. It was an expensive one. In 1995, it, he was permanently disabled within a month. Okay. The jarring effect put a bone fragment right into a nerve in his lower back. So that's part of my passion is to get out there and, and let people know, no, they're not all created equal. Yeah, because yours is different. You have a patented spring design. Because when I got on yours, it's like firmer. Yeah, it's it feels a, better. So what do you do? I mean, what makes it different in the springs? Well, we created a tridaptable spring, which is different than the little tube springs, which was in the market. They were all over. They're still in the market. These little tube springs would stretch a little bit, and then they had a jarring effect at the bottom of the stretch. It was often so severe it would break the spring, and it could cause damage to the person using it. Okay. Most people just stick them in the garage or put them in a garage sale after a period of time, especially if it's hurting them. So I introduced the tridapable spring design. It's a larger diameter in the middle with a ridge where it tapers and then another ridge where it tapers again. It doesn't matter whether you're 30 pounds or 300 plus pounds. You're gonna utilize that portion of the spring you need based upon how much you weigh or how high you're jumping. So it's the only type of a So it's less of impact because of that? Well, yes, you don't get the impact, you don't get the jarring effect. And the, but, and the but, feet don't seem to pronate the, or whatever it's called. That's right. They're not rubber bands or bungee cords. They don't stretch out like bungee cords. What they do do is they create enough resistance so that the body is working and you can feel it. You can touch virtually any area of the body as you're cellar sizing and you'll feel the muscles expanding and contracting, whether it's up on, on the upper body or if it's on the waist and the, in the hips or whether it's in the legs. The G-forces we know through studies are applied from the top of your head all the way down through the bottom of your foot. Now, when you apply a weight-bearing exercise to a muscle, okay. you cause the cells of the muscle tissue to expand and contract with weight on the cell membrane. The cell responds to the increase of weight by fortifying its membrane with more protein, but the cell doesn't care where the weight comes from or how sophisticated the equipment is. So with the cellar sizer, we have weight-bearing, but we have good support. If it was too soft, then you're right, your feet pronate. And if you right. land like this or you jump higher landing like this, then that's going to exasperate the potential problems. We have people that have knee problems, um, that have had hip problems and back problems by jumping on units where they're not properly supported. The cellar sizer offers what we believe is the ideal support. Okay. So that you can do the different movements and exercises that I teach and, and be able to get the results. People want to feel younger, they want to feel stronger, they want to have a, a better quality of life and be able to enjoy that life. I'm doing the same thing, I'm doing more things than I did when I was in my 30s when I first started. I'm, I'm having a quality of life that hasn't slowed down. You feel like, like for example, you know, when I do the bouncing, I'm calling it bouncing, when I sell her size, afterwards not only do you feel clearer, but you're like planted on the ground, like, like, a, like solid. So address those two things. I mean, what's your theory or take on why you think you're clearer? My editors say that they think it really does work. They think clear. And then you feel so stable. Let's Speak talk to about both that. of those. That's really good. I have been able to help athletic performers in, in virtually any industry by with cellar size. And we've wondered, well, why is that? Because it's weight bearing and not weight lifting, it treats the body collectively as a whole. For example, if I took 20, 30, 40% more weight and I applied it just to this muscle, 100 times a minute, for 10 solid minutes, nobody would argue, great exercise of that muscle. Now I gotta do all the other body parts. Most of us don't have time for that. But when we're cellar sizing, just by jumping up and down on the cellar size, we're applying an increase of weight, not just to this muscle, but to every single muscle collectively all at the same time. But we go beyond that. We're putting weight on the fascia. 
I believe that that's the next step in our athletic evolution, if you will. Okay. Because when you apply weight to the fascia over, up and down, I give people nearly superhuman strength and balance and I demonstrate it all the time. It takes about two to three minutes. And, and this is on your website, oh, right? Oh, this is on the website. Okay. We've been on YouTube. I've been in front of live groups. I've worked with SWAT teams and military personnel and ath athletes, um, fire departments, police departments, doesn't matter. They need a competitive advantage and they need to be able to perform as well as they possibly can. What's really been interesting is to show them the difference in their strength and balance just a few minutes after they've been cellular sizing. It's demonstrative. I can do it live in, in, on stages, and so I do that. And I've done it with bodybuilders, uh, martial artists, yoga instructors. Balance is very important for them, but it's also important in golf. It's also important with um, tennis and w with, uh, in fact, Dr. Dennis White, University of California, San Diego, had the entire tennis team doing it to improve their tennis stroke. When you are balanced, you're gonna perform better in whatever it is that you do. And, uh, and what do you think it's doing to the brain? Because look, you're, uh, you're, you're moving up and down, right? I guess your organs are moving up and down. There's some you. what of a detox you say to go through, but yeah. why do you, yeah. what's your take on why you think you think clearer? Well, that's great. Oh, you know, this is why we need more studies done on this because what we have done is we've taken a look at the blood of a person, especially when they first wake up in the morning. And, and, and so many people today, their bodies are acidic. A lot of it okay. has to do with our dead processed food and diet and the, you know, things we're exposed to. But, but when the blood cells become acidic, they become, um, uh, that's called sticky blood. The okay. blood cells are sticky together, so they're not circulating very well. Well, we get on a cellar sizer, and this has been very interesting because as we go through our routine, when we've looked at the same blood underneath the microscope after we have cellar sized, the blood cells have been separated, they look oxygenated, they're energized, we've seen it through Corellian So you think it's the oxygen, it's the... It's a combination of the movement up and down. See, the blood cells and have... What's... You're increasing circulation. You definitely That's increasing why circulation. you're thinking clearer. Well, the blood cells have a sodium potassium pump. Okay. That basically means they're like batteries, positive and negatively charged. As you move up and down, we believe what's happening is that the blood cells are generating a field of energy around themselves where they become separated. Now, as you're moving up and down on the cellar sizer, it's easier for the body to move separated blood cells rather than sticky blood cells back through the capillaries. And the pumping action of the cellar sizer helps to feed that circulation through one-way valves back to the brain, back to the other body parts and functions. So people feel different. They feel better when they've been on a cellar sizer. We need to understand more about why that happens. I'll give you an example. Okay. We, have, we have a lady who works for UPS. And she, uh, one of my customers had, had purchased a cellar sizer and went to her office or UPS center to pick it up. And while he was inspecting it, she read the literature and decided, I want to get one of these. So she gets the cellar sizer and starts to use it. Starts to use it. Well, one of the interesting things about her, she had a bad valve. In fact, on a nuclear test, it was like 50%. She was a candidate for, a, for heart surgery. Okay. And really didn't want to do it, but she was feeling achy, her feet were hurting her, uh, circulation was bad. Um, she was having a difficult time enjoying the quality of life. So she, get, she decides to get the cellar sizer. She starts to use it, Randy. A few months later, she goes back for another test. Her, she's now in her lower 70% percentile. And the doctor says, well, what have you done? <laughs> and she says, I've cellar size. Keep in mind the sticky blood cells, right? Because this is our theory. Um, so as she was cellar sizing, she told the doctor, and the doctor said, well, whatever it is, keep doing it. You're on the low end of normal now. You don't need heart okay. surgery. So she writes me the letter. And then she tells me something inter interesting. She says, as she, when she stopped cellular sizing for a period of time, she noticed all the symptoms coming back. Sticky blood cells. Okay. And when she would cellular size regularly, she says, I cellular size now for my life. And this is exercise in general. I mean, exercise does these things, improves circulation, helps the heart, helps the brain, helps all of these things. This is just, but the problem with exercise is the impact. Is that what you're saying? Well, the impact creates a jarring effect that shatters the nervous system and tenses the body up. The cellar sizer creates a pumping action that opens up circulation. There's no jarring effect. Now, you're good on that machine. Like on the, I, I looked at the videos. I mean, you're like an Olympic athlete, yeah. gymnast, 
on these. <laughs> yes. Can people work up to that level? Oh, sure. Some of the things you do on there, I'm going, there's no way. Oh, How you, could you do you that? Have to, I would have killed myself doing that when I first began. But, but cells don't get old. Not really. I mean, we don't go through. The, we often think in terms of the aging processes that the body's getting older. Yes, it does get older, and yes, we go through an aging process. But the cells of our body are constantly repl replacing themselves. What's to stop us? from strengthening and improving the efficiency of our cells at any age. That's okay. why exercise is important. The difference is that subtle size just doesn't limit the effect. Well, as we're moving up and down, we're, everything else is moving up and down, and the G-forces are creating a pumping or massage effect that's on the, the liver, the kidney, the spleen, the gallbladder, the pancreas, the adrenals, the thyroid. The, the whole body is involved collectively as a whole. What are the implications? What's going, why do people feel so much better? When they're settled all the time. Why do they wake up in the morning? When I get up in the morning, I'll notice my eyes, you know, you lay down at night and your fluid tries to find its natural equilibrium, and I'll wake up and I'll notice my eyes are a little puffy. I get on the cellarizer. When I'm done with my routine, they're not. You see, the lymphatic... You told me that. It's like, I had some bags under my eyes. I'd yep. bounce for a little while. Yep. And they seem to kind of go away. And, and or diminish or, or, or lessen. They, why? why? What's well, your take? Because... The lymphatic system is very sluggish when we're sleeping at night. It's not moving, it's not pumping a lot. The lymphatic system holds a negative pressure. So movement causes suction, we know that. Well, when we're on a cellarizer and we're moving up and down, we have millions of one-way valves because of the pressure changes. You're weightless, then weight. Weightless, weight, plus the G-forces okay. and the acceleration, deceleration effect. And as we're moving up and down, millions of one-way valves start sucking and they start to pull the circulation through all the tissue spaces of the body, through the bones and the joints. It's a healthy th thing I believe that we can do on a day-to-day -day basis. In fact, according to Dr. Um, Arthur C. Guyton in his book, Medical Physiology, we learn that if you get on a cellarizer, you run as fast as you can for one minute, you can increase the number of active white blood cells in your body by 10 to 15 times. That's like every morning giving yourself your own natural antibiotic. Are these are written, published studies? Yeah, that's, that's in his book, um, Medical Physiology. This is a different kind of rebounder. Is that your toughest part of the cell, where people need to know this is a different kind of a rebounder? Well, th th let's talk about that. It's been called the closest thing to the fountain of youth yet devised by man. <laughs> and, and I personally, I agree with it. I, okay. I believe okay. that. But I had, a, I had a lady call me up on the, my telephone one day, and she was upset. And she said, I've been doing your program, and I've been doing this movement, and this movement, and all these different movements. And she says, my knees are killing me. My knees are hurting so badly. And, I, and I'm listening to her talk, and I'm saying, okay, well, that's right, that's right, that's right. Well, that doesn't make sense. And she said, yeah, when I bought your, 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 your unit, your cellular size on TV, um, I said, wait a minute. I've never sold my cellular size on TV. Oh, well, they said it's just the same thing as yours. I, see. I said, and I mentioned the name of the unit. I said, do you have one of these? And she said, Yes, it's not the same. It All because the, of the springs. Oh, the springs and the mat material. Okay. And the mat material doesn't stretch out. We use a very, it's a space age material. So polypropylene where every fiber is put under nearly 200 tons of pressure. Leave it out in the sun, the rain, the snow, it doesn't matter, it's weather resistant. They make swimming pool covers out of it now because it's UV resistant. I use it because you can't stretch it out. When the mat itself stretches, your feet pronate. And that puts pressure on the inside of your knee and can cause hip problems and back problems as well. So our mat material, you can't stretch it out. It'll support you. But in addition, the, the, the spring is unique. Well, I, I told her that. I said, take my cellar sizer, put it next to your unit, jump on them side by side. If she you did it? She did. And then she writes me a letter, two-page handwritten letter. And in that letter, she tells me that, number one, her knees were no longer suffering. Interesting. Is that she threw the other unit in the dumpster. And she says that, um, she tells me, you should sue them because I really thought it was the same thing. And, and it definitely, and she says, it definitely is not. The cellar sizer works. That's the bottom line. We want results. You know, I think people just need to try it. You know, it, it's like when I That's bought it exactly from you, right. I bought one, tried it, and you get kind of hooked. It is a different kind of a rebounder. I mean, the cellar sizer is different. I guess that's yeah. a challenge of getting people to do it. You know, the most famous public speaker, motivational speaker in the world, I'm looking at a YouTube video, and there he is bouncing right before he goes on backstage. So this is, uh, this is happening. Yeah, mo most of those people have, have used the, t the, the cellar sizer, and, and that's, that's great. Bottom line, cellar sizer works. We want people to be able to experience the benefits of cellar size. 
we're going to give them an opportunity to do that. Um, normally, we give a 30-day money-back guarantee. Randy, I'm going to give a 60-day. 60-day. Money-back guarantee. They mentioned the wellness hour. If they use Randy and the discount code. Randy and the discount code. Yeah, Randy and the discount. They'll get 60 days to try it. If, and in addition to that, we're going to send them the $40 DVD, not the normal DVD. The $40 DVD. Okay shows over 20 different techniques specific to areas that they might want to work on. And they, they can keep that, period. They, so they order it, they keep the, uh, the, the $40 DVD. If they don't believe that the seller sizer is a, a very important part in their overall family and wellness program for themselves, for their family members, return it. We'll give them their money back. I want them to experience it. I've been doing this like, you know, for 30 years. I've experienced, I've got customers that have been doing it for 20 years, and they're telling me they're not on all the pain medications, they're not on all these various different drugs, they're enjoying a better quality of life, and they're grateful to me for having introduced them 20 years ago to the seller sizer. Nice. Now you say the seller sizer, and I'm, I'm uh, paraphrasing slightly, allows you to do more of what you love to do in life. Well, Elaborate on that. When you feel better, when you feel stronger, when the mitochondria in your cells have increased because you're working at a cellular level, not just as a muscular level, and you, and your balance is better, you're going to perform better. You're going to want to do better, more. You're going okay. to want to enjoy a better quality of life. It's kind of funny. I was in my office one day, and I get a phone call from a lady who had been cellar sizing well, for only three and a half weeks. But she calls up to brag, and she says, Mr. Hall, you should have seen me last week. I was on top of, or you should have seen me yesterday. She says, I was on top of my rooftop repairing my own shingles, and you should have seen the neighbors. She was 91 years of age. I'm not recommending really? that. Yes, but, but what I am saying is that uh, people need to try this. They need to try it. When they experience it, when they start to perform better, I want to hear about it. We want, we want to continue to gather the information, the evidence. We want to encourage doctors and in, in institutions and universities and research teams to look more into the benefits of cellular size. I'm willing to work with them. I'm willing to okay. share with them the various different methods that we've developed, that we've shared with doctors and health practitioners and trainers and physical therapists that seem to be working very, very well. And they can research it. And we can, we can do a collaborative effort okay. because I have a lot of, like I said, empirical evidence and various different uh, uh, experiences that people have had that they've shared with me. And the approaches, bronchial tubes in the lungs. You know, that's, that's, most people were told only to get to the other, enough oxygen to the first two thirds of the lungs. They're not really breathing deep, in, deep enough, Randy. And one of the things in the techniques I designed is a program that opens up the bronchial tubes in the lungs. And you can hear that you made me do that before we came on. Isn't I it... kind of wasn't in the mood to do it. Yeah. But you. But but of course, my cellar sizer is right over there, and uh, I did it. It's like you feel, because I, I never tried that little thing you you made me do. I designed that years ago for for myself, and I didn't realize at the time that it, it was going to have such an impact in people that like to sing, that like to um, perform, or that have your uh, voice sounds different voice. afterwards. It, it does. It opens up the larynx. It opens up diaphragmatic breathing. Um, people that have weak bronchial tubes, it works on the bronchial tubes. I tell people don't do a lot of it initially because it can make the bronchial tube sensitive. But see how you're, see how you're breathing in bronchial tubes and, and lungs and, and your overall performance. You say 10 minutes a day. Uh, I, frankly, have been it. doing it like one minute at a time, and then I wait a little while, and then I do another minute, and I try to get 10 minutes in. Is it okay to do it that way, or do you prefer altogether well no actually several times a day sends messages to the body several times a day and as you move up and down several times a day you're opening up circulatory channels several times a day um, one longer period of time is good but it accomplishes something different than if you do several short periods of time but ir irrespective you're sending a message to the body every time you do it the okay. body's going to have to adapt to the message that you're giving it it's not the amount of time that ch that matters to a cell they don't have watches but it is, uh, it's how the cells are challenged within that amount of time. So the cellar sizer, we can be very intense on it. When I was, I taught the Jamba Run. And the Jamba Run, okay. which is, oh, we all develop a love-hate relationship with it. The Jamba Run's awesome. It can really only be done on a cellar sizer. You can't do it on the ground. So, so with the Jamba Run, we use the biggest muscles of the body, which have the greatest demand for fuel. And that's why most aerobic activities are harnessing the biggest muscles. It really works the body effectively. Well, on the Jamba Run, we do it in a way that is, it's harnessing the, the thighs and the buttocks, the biggest muscles, but 
it's so incredibly intense. I've had doctors tell me, David, yeah. that'll grow new capillaries. I've had women write me, I got rid of my cellulite in two and three weeks. It's that intense. Well, when we increase metabolism, and the John Run increases metabolism, you, you can't do it a minute. I mean, most people can't. You can do it 20 seconds, you're going to feel it. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. why I said we develop a love-hate relationship with it. But the results that people have had on that is amazing. When I first started doing the John Run, I was traveling all around the country showing it. I'd get up and off the unit several times during the day working at these trade shows. Every time I did the John Run, I'd only, I was only on there 10 seconds at the most. Every time I did it, my metabolism would shoot up. It didn't just drop down the moment I stepped off. I kept demonstrating it all weekend long. I'd lose up to eight pounds in a weekend. I finally went to the doctor after a few <laughs> months of doing this, and I said, something's wrong. I can't put on any weight. I'm eating two dinners at night. Um, and they did a full physical on me. They said, David, you have the metabolism of a 19-year-old. You're in phenomenal shape. He said, I said, well, that's, I, I can't put on any weight. He says, just your body type. It didn't used to be. I backed off of the Jamba Run. It took a month to get my rear end back. My wife witnessed the whole thing. Okay. It is so incredibly intense. So, again, we've had women who have gotten rid of this. They've written me. They've gotten rid of cellulite. I can't guarantee that everybody's going to get yeah. the same results. Yeah. But what I can say is that it's worth trying. Try the cellulizer. Experience it for yourself. Experience it for your family. See what kind of results that you get. Good. And, and let us, you know, if you have any questions, consult with your doctor before you begin any exercise program or have your doctor give me a call. And I'm happy okay. to share with them the different approaches that we've developed over the time working with doctors and health practitioners. All right. Now, we're out of time. Great stuff. I, I have two of them now. Uh, if somebody wants to order one, if they put Randy for the, the, the show host, R-A-N-D-Y, in your promo code, they're going to get a 60-day money-back guarantee. Is that right? All they do that's is pay right. for the shipping. Yep. That's yeah, well, it. Yep, that's right. That, that's it. That's all they pay for. I can't imagine and anybody keep, giving them back. Keep the $40 DVD. People don't give them back. When you wake up in the morning, solar sizing, when you, if you have a hard time sleeping at night, you solar size gently moving up and down and then go directly to bed. If you are dealing with issues with, with regards to muscles and ligaments around the joints, when you experience the results that other people have been experiencing, you're right. Okay, good. You're going to want to keep it. All right, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Great stuff. Thank you, Randy. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.